We're here with uh, Canton Mayor William J. Healy. Uh, good announcement tonight. City of Canton is going to be up to 169 uh, uh, four uh, police officers in January of 2015. Give or take a couple, yeah, roughly. Yeah. And <laughs> maybe a little longer term, up to the 175, the group 175. I think, I think we're going to cap at 174 because I think we think that's the actual number. Okay. I I'm kidding. I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, what, what I will tell you, what I just told the, the, the repository, uh, we currently have 162, okay, but we anticipate by the time we're able to get this new group hired, that we know that there's another retiree, a couple things going on, so we expect that between one and three uh, will be different, the count, so it could be 161 to 159, add nine to that, so, you know, and, and that's the number it'll be, but um, that doesn't mean that that's the final number, that just means that with this portion of the grant, we anticipate to go up to that number. Um, it really depends on our budget, the certification, the finances. I have uh, 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 CPPA and um, uh, the FOP uh, contracts have to be negotiated to go into effect January 1st. We can speculate what we think that range is going to be, but the fact is until that contract's done, I can't count those dollars till we know. Uh, so there's a lot of variables that, that go into play to determine where we are come January. But at the same time, even if we're running short on funds, when you've got the federal government picking up 75 or 80 percent of the employees' cost, you, you come up with the matching funds and you find cuts other other places. So, the one thing that these grants do is they kind of force you to, to take the money because it's too good to pass up. So, if we are in a situation where the finances aren't lined up, um, you know, or we don't have the matching funds, we'll probably come up with those funds by cutting somewhere else uh, because it just you, you got to take advantage of it. So, I anticipate that we will take advantage of this grant effective first of next year depending on where our actual number is right now and where it ends up in january will be the net total and if we're not in financial stress come january if we're okay we might find that we actually add more than nine um, to the list there's another variable i'll give you too because nothing of course is simple in this world <laughs> um, but the, the other issue is this does not guarantee that we're going to have nine guys hired come january 1st and the reason i say it is we have an active list um, that we have already hired off of. So it's a limited number of, of, of potential uh, hires. The police department has already started the process and as they go through there, they may find that there are only five people that they want to hire off that list or they may find that there's 15 people. And depending on how many people they think are the right people for the city of Canton's positions, those are the ones they're gonna recommend for us to hire. If it's less than nine, then we have to wait till the next list to come into effect. Now, the next list is being tested on the first week of November. It should be ready around February, so we won't have to wait long, but we may see that part of these nine come off the old list and part comes off the new list, which could delay the, the actual hiring by another month or two, uh, but it shouldn't be that much longer because it's already in process. So, well, uh, this complicated answer for seeing you. Grant there. Group 175, any credit for uh, getting uh, administration's attention to drive forward to, to uh, a closer to 175? Well, um, you know, it's great that the, the public is involved and in, in, uh, concerned about the number of safety forces we have, and uh, it certainly did get some attention on that. But I can tell you that um, the ability to, to hire is based off of the ability to pay not the ability to want. So as the resources come in, we make a commitment to bring in and, and increase our police department and fire department uh, as, as much as we can. And it, it shrunk over a period of three or four years, and we've been growing it back over the last two, and now next, three, next year will be three years. So it didn't go away in one day, and it's not coming back in one day. But as you know, uh, we certainly have needs for safety, and we're going to do everything we can to, to maximize those forces based on the resources available. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mayor William J. Healy II, Mayor of Canton. Thank you.